Hello NBA fans, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the heart of basketball's most thrilling moments, decisions, and unfortunately, its missteps. Today we're delving into a topic that might stir up some passionate discussions. The worst transfer market decisions by each of the 30 NBA teams. Every team has its highs and lows, and today we focus on those decisions that, in hindsight, didn't quite pan out the way the front offices hoped. Join us as we take a trip down memory lane, exploring those trades and signings that became infamous in NBA history. Let's start off with the LA Lakers. In 2012-2013, the Lakers signed Dwight Howard, hoping to capitalize on his prior success with the Orlando Magic. However, injuries and team chemistry issues led to a disappointing tenure, resulting in Howard's swift departure after just one season, marking it as one of the franchise's worst signings. Next, the Boston Celtics. The Celtics faced a setback in 2017 with the signing of Gordon Hayward. Despite his talent, injuries plagued his tenure in Boston, resulting in inconsistent performance and an early departure from the team. The Chicago Bulls. The Bulls' decision to sign Carlos Boozer in 2010 stands out as one of their worst moves. Despite Boozer's talent, his performance didn't match his high salary becoming a financial burden for the team throughout his tenure in Chicago. The Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavaliers signing of Andrew Bynum in 2013 turned out to be a disaster. Despite his injury history, the Cavs took a gamble on him, but it backfired as Bynum played only a handful of games before being discarded due to attitude and performance issues. The Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks' decision to sign Chandler Parsons in 2014 ultimately proved to be ill-fated. While Parsons showcased moments of talent, persistent injuries severely hindered his ability to contribute consistently on the court. As a result, his contract became a financial burden for the team, with his limited availability undermining the expected impact of his signing. The Detroit Pistons The signing of Josh Smith in 2013 turned out to be a disaster for the Pistons. Despite having versatile skills, Smith didn't fit well into the team's playing system, and his performance was inconsistent, leading to his early departure from the team and a high financial cost for the Pistons. Golden State Warriors The Warriors made a bad acquisition in 2019 when they acquired D'Angelo Russell in a trade. Although Russell was a promising talent, fitting into the Warriors' system was difficult, and his performance didn't meet expectations, resulting in his departure from the team after just one season. The Houston Rockets. The signing of Ryan Anderson in 2016 was one of the Rockets' worst decisions. Despite being an elite shooter, Anderson couldn't justify his high salary with consistent on-court performance, leading to his eventual departure from the team. The Indiana Pacers. The Pacers encountered a bad acquisition in 2017 when they signed Lance Stevenson. Although Stevenson had unique skills, his erratic behavior and inability to adapt to the team system made him a costly and unproductive acquisition. Los Angeles Clippers The signing of Baron Davis in 2008 was one of the Clippers' worst decisions. Despite his talent, Davis struggled with injuries and attitude problems during his time in Los Angeles, resulting in inconsistent performance and a financial burden for the team. The Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizzlies made a bad acquisition in 2016 when they signed Chandler Parsons. Although Parsons showed flashes of his talent, injuries kept him off the court for most of his time in Memphis, resulting in a costly and unproductive contract for the team. Miami Heat. The signing of Hassan Whiteside in 2016 was one of the Heat's worst decisions. Despite having solid defensive skills, Whiteside struggled with attitude problems and inconsistent performance during his time in Miami, leading to his departure from the team after several seasons. The Milwaukee Bucks The signing of Greg Monroe in 2015 turned out to be a disappointment for the Bucks. Despite Monroe's talent, his traditional style of play didn't fit well into the Bucks system, leading to inconsistent performance and his eventual departure from the team. New Orleans Pelicans the signing of Omer Asik in 2015 was one of the Pelicans' worst decisions. Despite being a solid defender, Asik struggled with injuries and performance issues during his time in New Orleans, resulting in a costly and unproductive contract for the team. The New York Knicks The Knicks encountered a bad acquisition in 2016 when they signed Joachim Noah. Although Noah had been a star player in the past, 
injuries and performance issues made him a financial burden for the Knicks, leading to his early departure from the team. The Oklahoma City Thunder The signing of Carmelo Anthony in 2017 turned out to be a disappointment for the Thunder. Although Anthony was a star player at the time, his playing style didn't fit well into Oklahoma City's system, leading to inconsistent performance and his eventual departure. Orlando Magic the Magic made a bad acquisition in 2016 when they signed Bismack Biombo. Despite being a solid defender, Biombo struggled with performance issues and a lack of chemistry with the team during his time in Orlando, resulting in a costly and unproductive contract for the team. Philadelphia 76ers The 76ers' decision to sign Andrew Bynum in 2012 stands out as one of their worst moves. Despite Bynum's potential dominance, Chronic injuries sidelined him for the entire season, making the investment costly with no return for the team. The Phoenix Suns The Suns encountered a bad acquisition in 2012 when they signed Michael Beasley. Despite his talent, Beasley struggled with attitude problems and inconsistent performance during his time in Phoenix, leading to his premature departure from the team. Portland Trail Blazers The signing of Evan Turner in 2016 turned out to be a disappointment for the Trail Blazers. Although Turner was a versatile player, his inability to adapt to the team's playing system and his low performance made him a financial burden for Portland. The Sacramento Kings The Kings encountered a bad acquisition in 2009 when they signed Benno Udry. Despite Udry being a solid point guard, his inconsistent performance and high salary made him a financial burden for the Kings, resulting in his departure from the team after several seasons. San Antonio Spurs The signing of Richard Jefferson in 2009 was one of the Spurs' worst decisions. Despite being a talented player, Jefferson struggled to adapt to San Antonio's playing system, and his performance was consistently below expectations during his time with the team. Toronto Raptors The Raptors encountered a bad acquisition in 2006 when they signed Jorge Garbajosa. Although Garbajosa had unique skills, injuries kept him off the court for most of his time in Toronto resulting in a costly and unproductive contract for the team. The Utah Jazz The signing of Derek Favors in 2010 turned out to be a disappointment for the Jazz. Although Favors had potential, his development was hindered by injuries, and his performance never reached the expectations the team had for him. Washington Wizards The Wizards encountered a bad acquisition in 2016 when they signed Ian Mahinmi. Although Mahinmi was a solid defender, he struggled with injuries and performance issues during his time in Washington, resulting in a costly and unproductive contract for the team. Charlotte Hornets The Hornets' 2016 signing of Nicholas Batum to a lucrative contract turned sour. Despite his prior flashes of skill, Batum's performance notably declined post-contract, becoming a financial burden for the team without the anticipated on-court impact. The Atlanta Hawks The signing of Miles Plumley in 2016 was one of the Hawks' worst decisions. Despite being a solid player, Plumley couldn't justify his high salary with consistent on-court performance, making him a financial burden for the team during his time in Atlanta. The Brooklyn Nets The Nets encountered a bad acquisition in 2013 when they acquired Gerald Wallace in a trade. Despite being a talented player, Wallace failed to meet expectations in Brooklyn, and his performance was disappointing resulting in a costly trade for the team. The Denver Nuggets In 2013, the Denver Nuggets signed JaVale McGee to a considerable contract, hoping he would be a key piece in their interior game. However, McGee struggled with injuries and inconsistency in his performance, which didn't justify his high salary. This acquisition turned out to be costly and unproductive for the Nuggets. The Minnesota Timberwolves the Timberwolves encountered a bad acquisition in 2016 when they signed Cole Aldrich. Although Aldrich had shown promise in previous stints with other teams, his performance with the Timberwolves was underwhelming, failing to meet the expectations set for him. This signing became a financial burden for the team without yielding the desired results on the court. In conclusion, the NBA's worst signing or trading decisions can leave enduring consequences, impacting a team's finances and on-court performance. While errors are inevitable in the competitive landscape, it's vital for teams to glean lessons from past mistakes and make better informed decisions moving forward to evade repeating costly blunders.
If you found this video insightful, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye.